I'm going to take a few moments to talk about negation in German. I'm going to look at nicht and kein, and we're going to see that we could use nicht with predicate adjectives, adverbs, and entire clauses, whereas we're going to have to use kein only with nouns. I'm also going to do a uh, do a brief review of the indefinite article ein because its pattern of declination is that is the same as kind. So negating predicate adjectives. What you have on your screen, das Auto ist schön, is a basic German sentence. We have the subject in the first position, das Auto, the verb ist in the second position, and schön in the third position. Das Auto ist schön, or the car is beautiful. Now, schön, an adjective, comes at the end of the sentence. It comes after the verb, which makes it a predicate adjective. Now, a predicate adjective still refers back to the subject of the sentence at the beginning of the sentence, but it is separated from this subject by a verb. Now, if I want to negate this idea that the car is beautiful, where do I go about, how do I go about doing this? Where do I go about inserting the nicht? And the answer to that question is, I insert nicht right before the predicate adjective. Das Auto ist nicht schön. The car is not beautiful. Now, cars do other things besides manifest beauty. And, uh, for instance, they drive. So, Das Auto fährt schnell. We have a, again, we have a subject in the first position, a verb, a different one in the second position, fährt, and an adverb in the third position at the end of the sentence. Now, das Auto fährt schnell. The car drives fast. Now, schnell is an adverb and not a predicate adjective because I'm not modifying the noun directly. I'm not saying the car is fast. Rather, I'm saying the car drives fast. So schnell doesn't modify the noun. It modifies the verb. It describes the manner in which the car drives fast. However, even though I ha I'm dealing here with an adjective, or excuse me, with an adverb, I could still negate it in the same manner. Das Auto fährt nicht schnell. The car does not drive fast. Now, if my friend is buying the car, er kauft das Auto, um, how do I go about negating that idea, the fact that he's buying a car? Uh, the answer to that question is I want to insert the negation at the very end of the clause. Er kauft das Auto nicht. He's, he's not buying the car. So, by way of summary, if I am negating a predicate adjective, the negation comes before the predicate adjective. If I'm negating an adverb, again, nicht will come before the adverb. However, if I'm negating an entire idea, an entire clause, nicht will come at the very end of the clause. Now, so far in this discussion, we've only looked at predicate adjectives, adverbs, and entire clauses. What if I want to negate a noun? In order to do that, I'm going to have to use the negative article kind. But before I do that, before I look at kind, I want to look at the indefinite article ein. And that's because kind is very similar to ein. In fact, it manifests the same pattern of declination. Now, you'll recall that the indefinite article ein simply means a or one. And it manifests the following dec pattern of declination that you see on your screen. Everything essentially stays the same in the feminine and neuter, in both nominative and accusative, whereas ein in masculine changes to einen in accusative. The indefinite article ein doesn't have a plural form. However, 
if I want to use a negative adjective kind, I can negate plurals. I will have keine in both nominative and accusative. However, kein manifests the same pattern of declination. We're still dealing with the same Oklahoma box. The, f the appropriate form of kind will depend on the type of noun it modifies. Will it be masculine, feminine, neuter, or plural? Will it be nominative or accusative? Now, kind simply means no or none. So, for instance, is das ein Tisch? Is that a table? If I want to negate the fact that that's actually a table and there's something else, I will change ein into kein. Das ist kein Tisch. That is no table. Now, if I am dealing here with, if I deal with an accusative environment, if I, if I want to have an accusative direct object in the sentence, um, I will also change kind. Hat er einen Tisch? Does he have a table? If I want to negate this sentence, I simply change einen into keinen. Er hat keinen Tisch. He has no table. So, for summary, if I want to negate a predicate adjective or an adverb, I use nicht before the predicate adjective or an adverb. If I want to negate an entire clause, I put nicht at the very end of the clause. However, if I want to negate a noun, I will put, I will use the negative adjective kind, uh, and I will put that right in front of the noun. Kind has the same pattern of declination as ein, and requires me to know whether the noun that it modifies is masculine, feminine, neuter, or plural, or whether it is nominative or accusative.